This is the ultimate clash of the titans. We are pitting Budweiser, Miller, and Coors against one another, and we're gonna pick a favorite. Ugh, this tastes like, you know, pond water. All right, guys, welcome back to the Treehouse Brewing Company YouTube channel. We've done this before, and we have a ton of content in the archive, so make sure you check that out. Your thoughts, comments, and feedback about this video are crucial to us and our ability to reach more people. So if you have thoughts, don't keep them to yourself. Share with the team. We're gonna taste these blindly. I'm not gonna know which one is which. I am going to share my thoughts as I move on through them, and I'm gonna pick a favorite. If you're expecting me to demean these beers, that's not what we do here. I know that these are American Titans. There's a lot of people who really enjoy these beers. In fact, I know that I've enjoyed these beers and they serve a purpose on a hot summer day where you just want a beer to crush. We just love beer in general, so I'm gonna turn around right now and I'm gonna have the guys pour these for me. And when I come back, I'm gonna have these in front of me blindly and I'm gonna share my thoughts. All right, I love this, I love this, I love this. This is my favorite part of making these videos, instantly turning around and having no idea what I'm looking at. So, let's dive in. Color-wise, boy, these beauties are, to my naked eye, relatively difficult to distinguish. If I had to guess, this guy in the center might be a hair lighter than the two on the outside, but you know, appearances are pretty dang close here um, right off of the jump. Foam wise, this guy on the left kind of has the least amount of foam retention, which isn't that big of a deal. You know, head retention is not something we typically associate with this type of beer, but seeing these guys, they look pretty good. So I'm gonna dive right into sample number one, working from your left to right. Simple, simple, simple is the name of the game. On the nose, I pick up a little bit of Freddy malt, a little bit of doughiness, very, very minimal hop character. And there's a brewing term called acetaldehyde. Makes this guy smell a bit apple-y, like green apple. All right, that's sample number one. Diving into sample number two. You know, one of the comments on the last video, Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light tasting, there was like 10,000 comments that said, I could guess those, I could guess those, I could guess those. The reality is I, that's probably not true. Guessing these three without knowing which is which is a lot harder than you think. I just had to put that out there. This guy's got a little bit of that banana note. Interestingly enough, there was a video that we did with non-alcoholic lagers and in that video there was a Heineken beer that was non-alcoholic and it had a distinctive banana note. It makes kind of a banana-y note in the, in the glass. This one has that. And this guy actually reminds me of that. Interestingly enough, I know Heineken's not in the sampling, but it does harken back to that flavor profile. A little bit sweeter on the palate. This guy in the middle. Kind of like off-puttingly sweet, to be, to be frank. I thought this guy came across as a little bit drier, because I want to be careful not to have that first sample bias where I share too much and reveal too much too quick without letting these guys digest a bit. Sample number three. Appearance-wise, this one is the least nice looking of the three. Seems to have like maybe a little bit of hop character. Doughy malt. Okay, okay. That's tough, because these guys are pretty different temperatures right now. This guy is really cold, so it comes across as dry and lacking sweetness. This guy's a bit on the warmer side. It comes across as even drier, so it's, sometimes temperature differences in light lager like this can make a huge difference. So I'm gonna run through these three one more time and then try to pick a favorite. <laughs> We're making progress. I can confidently say that I 
or semi-confidently say that I like the one in the middle the least. So that leaves the final two in terms of which guy wins the ultimate battle of the three American icons. It's killing me that these are a different temperature. All right, so to recap, this guy, like medium body, medium sweetness, kind of the middle of the road example of these three. This guy in the middle here, probably too much sweetness for my palate. And this guy on the left is exhibiting a little bit of hop characteristic, and I find it to be a bit drier. So in terms of how I would rank them, my favorite would be, drum roll, sample number three. Sample number three is my number one. Sample number one is my number two. And sample number two is my number three. Now, question is whether or not I can guess which one is which. I think the middle sample, the one that I liked the least, was Budweiser. It had that sweetness about it. It lingered on the palate. It was a little too full-bodied. Samples one and three, I'm really struggling with. In this sampling, they actually presented very similarly to one another. The, the temperature difference makes it really, really hard because one's like probably 10 or 15 degrees warmer than the other. But if I had to guess, I would say that number one is High Life and number three is Banquet. Bingo. Come on. Yes. Ugh. Two for two on the big samplings. Ah, ah, awesome. Wow. I mean, the High Life looks beautiful. Look at that, majestic. The champagne of beers. I have to say though, there's something about the banquet. It had a more robust flavor profile. Came across a little bit more with hop characteristic and it hit my palate really, really nicely. These three tasted really great. In full candor, there's something about the Budweiser that is just too heavy for me. Even the Bud Light, the Budweiser, too sweet, doesn't hit my palate right. If you're throwing me a High Life or a Coors Banquet, I'm not upset with either one. Token of appreciation, subscribe, huge help. Warm summer day, what am I drinking? I'm drinking a Julius. Thanks for watching.